What's going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode. We're out on the boat right now. We're just gonna spend a couple days out here. So we are going after bottom fishing for giants on this trip here. It should be a blast. It should be a blast. There's a season that just opened up that's only open for a month and a half every year in my area. So I don't know, maybe we'll fish for them already tonight, but maybe what we'll just do is head out to the island together, maybe fish for something real quick on the way. We'll just kind of see what nature, what nature has to throw at us. We went out this morning to try and fish for lingcod already. Did not catch any lingcod, but we caught a lot of flounder, which are uh, the bait that we use to catch these lingcod. You see, we got all the rods we can wish for. We've got a cooler. There's giant flounder we got inside the cooler. We got a cooler loaded with ice, food. We're gonna roll in the footage of catching that giant flounder this morning with my buddy Brian. Uh, we took the Arima out. That's right, she's still in the family. I might no longer have the Arima, but that's okay. She's with Brian, couldn't be any happier. He's taking great care of her. Let me roll that footage in of catching the flounder and we'll see you over there in a few minutes. I'll let you know if anything crazy happens along the way. <sighs> Coffee time. Let's do it. Nice and hot. Yeah. Whew. Oh God, I saw that oh, net Oh no! Oh, no. oh disaster! Oh. Yeah, this is the area right here. All right, so we're gonna try and get some bait fish now. Uh, they're called flounder sand dabs, essentially just little flat fish that we have in this area because these giant lingcod love eating flounder. Right there, just little pieces of squid on our hooks and we're just gonna drop them straight down. We're looking for sandy bottom down here. We're fishing right now in about 75 feet. That's a fish on. You lost it. Ah. No! <laughs> There's another. No, he came off again. No! No, come on. I'm down, like, out of line. I can't. Here, we'll give it. We'll go all the way down to the darn knot in one, you know, a couple turns. Oh, got one. Did he come off? Yeah, I think he came off. No, oh, he's perfect. perfect. Oh, he's perfect. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, she's beautiful. That's what we're after. <laughs> oh, Brian's on him. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, oh he's a big one. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, they're biting, they're biting. Come on, hook up, hook up. There we go. Oh, perfect size. Perfect, beautiful size little bait flounder. That's, imagine what you can catch if you're putting fish like that on a hook. It's the kind of monsters we're going for today. Ooh, a little fish just jumped right there. There he is, that's a fish on, baby. Uh, God, we're just bait fishing, but this is so exciting. Oh, I'm not getting on him at all. I need to tighten the drag. Dude, what is this? Is this even a fish? Dude, for real. What? Oh no, it's fighting. It's fight. What? It feels like a shark, dude. Got a sick skill. Whoa! What? Get the oh, get the net. Get the net. It's, or it's just a giant flounder, it's a giant! It's a giant! <laughs> oh, man. It's a huge flounder! Oh my god, what? That's some bait for That's you. That's a huge flounder! Oh! I don't think I've seen a bigger flounder than that. Dude, no, that's, that's the, not a baby out of it. This is the darn biggest flounder I've ever seen in my life. That's a, a PB for me for sure. Oh, easy, yeah. 17 inch. 
No, gee, no, 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 come on. There we go. Give him a few blows just to make sure that way he's no longer suffering. 2.12 pounds. That's a slab, man. We got meat. We got something to eat already. Hey, you're on uh, Northwest Fishing Secrets. Gotcha. <laughs> 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 what was your name? Sang. Sang? Yeah. Nice to meet yeah, you, I man. videos all the time. Oh, he's coming for us. Oh, look at the sea line underneath us. There he is, he's looking at us. He's looking at us. <laughs> hey buddy, what's going on? All right, so the island that we're heading to is right over there, but I'm at a spot that I kind of wanted to just fish really quick before heading out there right here in these deep, dark waters lurk some monsters that I really want to meet. Something is going on on the Death Finder. Look at that. <laughs> All right, we're on him, guys. We're on him. Uh, so what we're, I think, going to do, the wind's pushing us really hard. So what I might do is throw the boat just in gear in reverse. That way it'll kind of hold us in this wind here. I don't want to throw an anchor down because I don't want to like risk getting the anchor stuck down there in the reefs um, and don't want to disturb, you know, the, the fish down there with an anchor and everything. We're going to do more of a stealth approach here. We're sending her down. There's a lot of fish underneath us. So let's try and make it down to the bottom and see what happens. There we go. Them. Oh, that was totally my mistake too. That was so my mistake. This rod was wrapped up in the net. Oh, <laughs> oh he was, that was a keeper too. He was right in the slot size. Man. Oh, and he broke us off. He broke 40 pound mono. Oh, oh man. All right, I'm tying up a new setup. This time I'm using 80 pound mono, some bigger hooks. I just, I hate breaking off on fish, not because of losing the fish. Of course it bums me out, but I just hate seeing fish swim off with gear in their mouth. I just, now we just got to pinch down the barbs. That is a regulation that we have in our area here. Now all my fishing line and tag ends and stuff, I just throw them all back in my tackle box. That way they don't accidentally go overboard. There's some weird weather over there that I kind of want to avoid as well. I'm going to try and get in uh, to the island here before before dark, before the weather comes in. <sighs> there we go. There we go. This ain't breaking off. Oh, I got salt water in my eyes. Man, what a rush. What a rush. I have not felt a fish like that in a while. And those guys get a lot bigger, but we don't want to catch one so big that we can't keep them. There's a slot size. They can't be over 36 inches. I'm looking for another spot like that on my depth finder. Oh, 
I think we're on it. Yes, we're on it, we're on it, we're on it. bites for me no more bites for me but that is okay guys we're, we're not here to catch fish we're here to see what nature throws at us and that's just what she had for us tonight so let's get to the island before it gets dark set up camp and make some food docked up weather got a little nasty on the way in but uh, but that's okay man that's okay a lot of space not a lot of people here we're in the marina all right guys oh we're done for the night so I guess let me just introduce you guys to the boat uh, this is not a permanent solution for NWFS but for right now this is the new NWFS boat. It's a 220 San Juan. She's got rod racks right up there. Plenty of space out on the deck to chill, to fish, to have fun. She's a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I've got uh, all my camera gear laying around, drone on the table and stuff. We've got a little seating dining area right here. The uh, bed right up front there. Lots of storage all over the place down there. This table here folds down to make another bed right up here. So this spot here would sleep one person down there in the main bed that could easily sleep two. I did a uh, quick Instagram live uh, with you guys. If you're not already following me on Instagram, feel free. That's usually where I do the lives and stuff. So I said hi, hung out with you guys. I'm really tired. I was going to cook up some fish, but you know what? I just, I just felt like making a grilled cheese. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I was craving. <sighs> Still can't believe I lost that one today, but that's all right. We're gonna have a good chance at a lane call tomorrow. Mm. There's a little bird sitting up on the horn there. Anyways, we gotta get busy. Let's get up, make some coffee, cook up a little bit of that flounder for breakfast, and then get out fishing. <laughs> little fish down in the water here everywhere. Look at that. Whoa, the water's just loaded with little fish. <laughs> How cool. Look 
There's a couple of geese right here. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Oh, oh geez. All right. Sorry. Morning, guys. Good morning. So we're just looking for a spot to cook up the fish. Oh. Look at this. Nice little beach down here. This is a little spot where we can get out of the out of the sun. Oh yeah. <laughs> this coffee has like a slight vanilla flavor. Mm. Get a little bit of oil in there right away. Ooh. We've just got a little bit of this uh, Louisiana fish fry, and we're going like a little bit of Cajun crispy this morning. I'm feeling spicy today. There we go. We're, we're gonna try and find some more lingcod. Man, I'd really love to catch one. Uh, got so close yesterday. I'm gonna add, honestly, just a little bit of onion. Just a little bit of onion shavings. Oh, look at that meal. Tons of flounder right there. Bunch of caramelized onion. We're just gonna take one bite with all of it in there. Look at that. This meal is gonna give me all the energy I need to keep going all day. This last piece, just look at how golden brown this flounder is cooked inside. Super nice, white, flaky. Mm. All right, let's get back to the boat. straight to a spot where we can catch some bait now. Got one. <laughs> Goal! Goal! Yeah. Now that's efficiency right there. We got a double, baby. A <laughs> double bait. Feels like another bait sized fish. Got two in the bucket already. If we can get one more, that'd be beautiful. Just a little guy. Look at that. Man, so we're at the spot. We're about to drift over one of those reefs. We got our bait ready. Let's drop that baby down. Oh. Oh! Something took the bait. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna get a jigging rod ready just in case. You guys keep an eye on that rod while I get the other one ready.
Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, we lost a monster. Oh, man, we just got spanked by one. Damn. Oh, wow, he broke through 80 pound mono. 80 pound. Man, let's send that last flounder down and then we'll switch to the jig. This time my goal is just to hold the rod and be right on that fish. I feel like he might have gotten down into the rocks and maybe that's why. Oh. We got one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna keep him in the water. Get a quick measurement. We're gonna let him right back go again. Uh, this guy, I already know he's too big, but we're just we're gonna double check. Show him to you real quick. This is a monsterling, guys. Monsterling, first monster of the season, baby. Oh, oh, he spanked me too. He whooped my butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's cool. A lot of you guys watching here live right now. Popular local spot and uh, just cool seeing a lot of local fans out here. Oh. Oh! 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 Thirty six inches, baby. <laughs> wow, that is a monster thirty six inch keeper ling, baby. We're gonna measure him one more time. One more time. He's actually like twenty five and a half. We're good. Let's go ahead and just. Get this baby out of his misery right away. I want to make sure that we don't let him suffer any longer. We're, we're done fishing here. That's it. I've got a little bit of ice left in the cooler. I don't want to let anything go to waste. Let's take one more moment to appreciate this magnificent creature. Man, that just shows that when you just stick with it, you can get him. Thank you, buddy. You are not gonna go to waste. We're gonna enjoy this guy. Probably just gonna take him somewhere, cook him up. Look at the teeth on that thing, dude. All right, we're just gonna get this baby on ice right away. Wanna keep him nice and cool. Have a little celebratory banana. Mm. That just hits the spot right now. I wonder if you could catch a lingcod on a banana. Look at that, we're gonna cook up some of that link cod right in front of the big city. That's Seattle right here. If you guys are local, you recognize it. If you're not local, well, that's the city of Seattle. Space Needle right there. 
We're just gonna cook up that ling cod right here. I was gonna go home and clean her up there, but I can't resist just tasting one piece while we're out here, while it's fresh. All right, so we just skinned our lingcod filet. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful meat. We're gonna return the skin right back to the sea where she belongs, that way the crabs and the other fish can eat it. All we're gonna throw on that lingcod is a little bit of this fish fry right here. Just throw a little bit of that on. Get both sides there real nice. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get that baby in the oil. still really hot I can't oh it's so hot I just want to bite into it but we're gonna let it cool got a little bit of cheese baby <laughs> oh yeah I'm craving a, a fish taco tortilla in right after it we'll let that tortilla and the cheese get to know each other really good in the pan Ooh, so juicy a really hot juicy piece flaky white meat Throw that whole piece of lingcod in there. Top it off with an avocado. Tell me you don't want a bite of that. If you were here, I'd let you have a bite. Since you're not, I'll have I'll take the bite for you. Let's just let's just go in there and see what it tastes like. Mm. Look at this flaky white meat. Firm very mild, delicious. You can cook lingcod really any way that you want to. That whole fish is gonna feed me for literally weeks. Uh, I don't harvest large fish very often just because I have to then freeze a lot of it. It's okay, as long as we don't waste it. But fish is always best eating it fresh. So that's why I like harvesting smaller amounts here and there as I need it. But every once in a while, man, taking a big fish like that home, uh, that'll take care of you for quite a while. That's all I got for you guys though. So remember to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, that way you don't miss the new episodes. If you wanna pick up some merch, got the new hoodies in the shop, link is in the video description below. I love you guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Till then, you all know it, be on baby.